Hello guys, Sorin Constantin here. Welcome back to our practical lectures. We have talked in the last lecture about um, how to start okay, creating your list, how to start uh, list building. And I've told you a little bit about a couple of services that you can use as email services. And we are now, as you can see on the screen, we are on MailChimp.com. It's a free service. It's very, very good. Uh, it's free, obviously, till a certain point. But uh, it's something great that you can start with if you haven't done list building till now or uh, if you just start to build your list. It's uh, absolutely great to start with MailChimp. It's very easy to use. They have a, they have a great service uh, and uh, they, deliver, they deliver very, very well. Now I will show you exactly how my dashboard looks the, in MailChimp. If you will enter MailChimp.com, you can sign up for free. You see here you have the sign up for free button. But I will log into one of my accounts on MailChimp. You can create more accounts if you want, obviously. I have a, an account uh, with some small lists that I use for some course launches. And I will show you a little bit uh, how you can use MailChimp, how you can set up uh, a list, okay? Because the first step uh, that you need to do in uh, in order to start building a list is to create a web form, okay? It's to create a, a list inside your email service. And after that, create a web form through which your subscribers can enter that list. Okay, I hope this will make sense and I will show you exactly what does that mean. Okay, you see here is my dashboard. This is my last campaign that I've sent. Okay, it was like an email sequence that I've sent in three or four days in a row. Okay, for a course launch that I have uh, did here on a local scale in Romania for a digital course. Okay, now I will show you exactly I, uh, how is the list section inside MailChimp because I have more lists here on, uh, on this account. So you can have an idea exactly how it looks like. Okay, as you can see I have entered in the list section. And here you have like uh, every single list that is here. Okay, you have the number of subscribers on every list. As I've told you, it's a it's an account with smaller lists. Okay, that I've created for this launch. This one actually is the biggest list of all. And uh, for example, if you look at uh, this one, the second list here. Okay, it has 54 subscribers and an average open rate of 48% uh, you will see that this is this is actually a very good open rate and a click through rate of uh, almost 70 17% which actually it's also very very good okay but most of the time lists that are very fresh okay that are built very fresh and that are smaller uh, convert much better okay this is like an uh, an unwritten rule Okay, in email marketing. So the first thing that you will do after you create your free account on MailChimp, you will log into your account, you will go in the list section and you will push create a list. Okay, you will select create list. Okay, you have the list details, you give a name to the list. Udemy test course, okay. After that, you select a default from email. Okay, so uh, the people that will be in your list, okay, will receive uh, their emails from a certain email address. It will be a default one that you can select. For example, I can put my email address, this one. Okay, default from name. Okay, the name of the company or the name that you want uh, the, that you want people to see uh, when they receive an email. So the name that uh, they will see that sent them the email. I will type in Sorin Constantin. Then here you have to write them like uh, how did they get on the list? Okay, why did they get an email? Uh, you got this email because you have subscribed for the X download. Okay, this is just an example. You can write absolutely anything. They also give you an example as you have seen. Then you have some details that automatically MailChimp will put in the footer of your email. You can type them in or you can type them out if you want, it doesn't matter. And notifications about the list and what happens in, inside the list. You can select for daily summary one by one or stuff like that. Okay, and then you push the button save. Very simple guys. Okay, then you have created your first list. And this is how your list will look. Okay, you have no, no subscribers. 
what do you have to do now? Well, it's very simple. You need subscribers. Okay, how do you how do you add subscribers? For example, if you have subscribers from uh, I don't know, maybe you have from a physical list from an event. Okay, maybe your own contacts and you want them to add into your list. You just go to the add subscribers button, add subscribers, and you can add them one by one. If, for example, you have an Excel list, a CCV list or something like that, you can press the button import subscribers and you will see you have an option there to import your subscribers from that file. Okay, it's actually very simple, guys. Then what you want to do for new subscribers to be added to your list, you have to create a sign up form. And if you will click sign up forms, you will see that you have more types of forms that you can use. You have general forms. Okay, like uh, a form that it's uh, on a single website page. I will show you an example for you to see. You have embedded forms. Okay, you, you practically generate like an HTML code that you can insert into your site or your blog exactly as we have. We also have uh, subscriber pop-ups forms, which uh, are very, very useful. It's a lot of controversy regarding uh, using or not uh, pop-ups for, um, for creating uh, an email list because uh, in some niches and in some cases people are so over pop-ups that uh, they will be driven away from your website and you will lose traffic if you put pop-ups. But uh, there are also a lot of niches where pop-ups uh, are still working very, very well and people are really interested in that content, are very passionate about that market and they will subscribe to that newsletter but you have to use it carefully because in some cases uh, will work in other cases won't work or even worse will drive away traffic from your website but it's a very powerful uh, tool uh, to use if you use it wisely also you have form integrations you can use other services to create uh, forms nice looking forms for uh, your mailchimp lists uh, and after that you can integrate them with uh, mailchimp I want to show you a very simple form, a general form uh, to, to see exactly how you can build a simple form. It's actually very, very easy. You will see guys, it's a step-by-step -step process that you can follow. You, you just, for example, you go to general forms and uh, it's actually very simple to create a general form. Uh, you, you leave the selected one as a sign up form. As you can see here, you have more options like a sign up form with alerts, a sign up thank you page. Okay, there are different stages of your sign up process, but uh, simply for now, a sign up, a general sign up form has all of this uh, can have all of these pages that you see here a sign up form with alert, a sign up thank you page, an opt in confirmation email, an opt in confirmation capture. You can have all of this in a single sign up form. But for example, we leave now the sign up form as it is simple. Here you have the link where, where MailChimp will host for you your form. And here you can see exactly how your form looks like. It's like a preview. And you have a menu in the right part of your, uh, of your dashboard. And in the menu, you have fields that you can add to your form. Then you have the field settings, another option. Okay, where you can so you can select some custom settings for your fields. Okay, also you have a design option here. It's very simple where you can select the background colors, link colors, okay, uh, form uh, the text from the form colors, okay, uh, the header, uh, practically how the header will look, okay, what, the, what dimension, use an image for your header. Uh, in my opinion and in my experience, it's much better for you to use an image than a text, but uh, it's, it's up to you how you want to do it. You have the outer wrapper, okay, how to look. <clears throat> also the body, if you want to, the link style, okay, the default text uh, exactly format, uh, the foreground, okay, exactly this, uh, the, the color that you see here, and a, a lot a lot other options, okay. But this is how your form will, to, will look like mostly. Let's have a look at it uh, on the page where it is hosted. Let's have a quick look. Okay, this is how your form will actually look like. Okay, you just fill in the form, subscribe to list. And uh, a thing that I don't like at MailChimp and at their built-in forms, okay, from, from, their, from, from their form builder, 
uh, it's that uh, all of their forms, if you have a free account, have a double opt-in. What is a double opt-in? Uh, if a subscriber will, uh, will fill out the form and will subscribe to the list, he won't be fully subscribed to the list. He will receive another email where he, uh, that he has to open and in which he has like a confirmation link. He has to click that link in order for him to confirm that yes, he wants to be subscribed to the list. And a lot of people will be lost during this process. That is why it's called a double opt-in because a single opt-in is when you just fill in the form and you are subscribed to the list. A double opt-in is when you fill in the first form, then you receive an email uh, in which you have a conf confirmation link that you have to click in order to be fully subscribed to the to the to the list so you it, it is very likely to lose a lot of people along the way won't click on the confirmation link and so on this is a thing that i do not like at mailchimp on the free on the free accounts but uh, this is it it's uh, it's their account it's for free so it's their rules but when you integrate it with uh, with other platforms for example with wordpress you do not have this kind of, uh, of problems. There are some special plugins for WordPress to integrate your mail, uh, your Mailchimp lists, for example, or from or lists from other services. And I will show you some examples so you can see exactly how you can use them. This is everything with Mailchimp, guys. I hope uh, this makes sense to you and uh, exactly what you have seen here, like a small demo from from my part, will help you. It's actually very simple. You have created a list, you have like a sign up form, and after that you can create your first campaign. You just go to the campaign button, uh, you push the create campaign button and everything goes smoothly from here. I'm sure you won't have any problem. As you can see, it's a very user friendly platform. And I really hope that my demonstration will uh, help you, uh, will help you create sooner your, your first list and your first campaign with uh, MailChimp. Thank you guys and I will see you in the next practical lecture where I, where I will show you uh, how to use some, uh, some plugins uh, for your WordPress site in order to integrate your uh, list building with your WordPress.